let's say for example I want to take a lot of data from the database this time we actually do want to use that from access option now this makes it a little easier we can come in we can dig around the same way we did before just with a nicer uh, dialog box and we want to select our database now one of the things I want to do is I actually want to select from multiple uh, files multiple data sections one of the things I want to do is I want to enable selection from multiple tables I do want to sort of have that ability to kind of connect my tables my data together like my companies and every single one of those in their recent performance so I'll go ahead and hit OK so this information where do I want this well because I'm dealing with multiple tables uh, that means I have multiple records and so I'm really actually looking forward to uh, working with a pivot table now I am going to change from my existing worksheet to D4. Uh, if you skipped ahead, you can see we're actually going to kind of use this space as a little selection slicer area. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, right off the bat, we don't see too terribly much. We're just seeing a pivot table, not doing too much. We want to go ahead and start to bring this information in. So, for example, I want to put my date in my rows. So I can see now uh, sort of every year on a row by row basis, on a day by day basis. From here, I want to go ahead and take my volume and I want to put it as a value. I want to see how many of these we had uh, traded on a given day. And I actually want to also see the closing costs for a given day. That way I get to see sort of uh, what everything was now it's a little bit some of some of those aren't very helpful so I'm going to change them to date shares traded how many shares were traded on a given day and I'll go ahead and go, just call this closing value that'll be a little easier when we start to get a little uh, friskier with it if you will now, I don't need these grand totals right here so I'm going to go ahead and come into my design option I'm just going to change grand totals and turn it off. Nice, simple, easy. We're not adding anything together. Now I want to go into my Analyze tab. That Analyze tab, again, like we've seen in the past, allows me to insert a slicer. That slicer is going to be allowing me to pick different options to view from our data, be our filter, basically. I'm going to select that I just care about title. I only really want title to be the big guy. So suddenly, now I can see all of the different options. I can see all the different stock, uh, stocks I can work from. I'll go ahead and bring this down just a little more. And you can see now I can zero in. Instead of selecting all of my stocks, maybe I want to look at just Hewitt Packard. And you can see, I can see how much a stock was worth for really a five day range or say for example Boeing or Aluminum Company America. Mm. 